Hello and welcome back, everyone. It is me, Unique Man Out, and I'm here with a uh, another how to wield video, I guess. So, last video was me opening or getting a bunch of more weapons. But during that video, I got a little box with Japanese writing on it, which I don't know any Japanese, so I didn't know what it meant. So I asked you guys a one person by the name Team Same Voice told me what it meant or like what it does. So here's the box. I have the uh, comment on my phone right here. So the box, it's a sword cleaning kit. Cloth is to well, let me get to the first thing he mentions. The bottle is oil for keeping the blade oiled. The hammer slash file is for getting the pins out of the handle on a katana to disassemble the katana. There are a couple extra bamboo pe pegs for the katana and for the katana handle the cloth is to wipe the blade and the orange lollipop looking thing which i didn't know what it was either honestly best description of this thing really could be lemon lollipop and eh, it's it's like a giant light lollipop I what he said for the description, best thing I could ever come up with, honestly. So, the orange lollipop looking thing is dry off any extra oil. Okay. And then uh, he goes on to mention another uh, weapon I have, which will be another video, but. Uh, what he mentions about that, I already kind of figured out on my own. Let me just make sure I checked everything on here. Yeah. So, thank you again, Team Same Voice, for giving me that uh, information. Very helpful. Now, the uh, blade... Now, I'm not just going to talk about the kit, which I've already done. It would be a short video, but as you can uh, see at the uh, time card I get, or timestamp, or whatever, the length of the video, it's uh, quite longer. And that's because I'm going to be talking about the uh, sword that this kit is uh, for, really. Just uh, trying to close up the box. I'll fix that later. So, I did a little bit of research on this uh, sword before. Oh, here's the sword. sword. It's a really long sword. Uh, this sword is an anime sword or anime inspired sword. It, uh, if you guys ever seen the anime one piece uh well firstly if you haven't i recommend it really good uh anime in my opinion so take it as you will i'm not much of a anime connoisseur i guess you could say but i enjoyed one piece it's a good show series many episodes so it will take a while to uh finish it but this sword comes from, is used by one of the characters named uh, Truffalong Law. I'm just going to say Law. He's a uh, later character, comes along in a very later episode, I'm going to say. But yeah, this is his sword. Uh, it's a uh, one blade sided, as you can see. the. Uh, other, uh, like, uh, the bottom bit of this, uh, sword, the design, is the, uh, 
blade, actually. The top bit is uh, uh, smoothed out, while the uh, bottom bit of the blade is the uh, sharp bit. So that's what you cut people with. Unlike my uh, rainbow sword, where you can cut it with both sides of the blade. With the uh, katana, only one side of the blade is uh, able to be cut with. As you can see, the top bit is sharp from what I'm holding right now. And then if I flip it over, the uh, now top bit is a bit smoother. I'm trying to hold it at an angle so you guys can see better. It's easier to be seen in person, obviously, but I'm doing my best. Yeah, this is the dull bit, and then the sharp bit. Very uh, slender for easy cutting. If you have a knife, which you should in a kitchen, and the knives have a uh, one blade that's sharp, other blade that's dull and not sharp. Basically a long and uh, katana like form of this of this guy really and uh, So this uh, white tether bit is for tying around the uh, Katana wielders belt area or waist uh, I'm going to say uh the samurai because in uh, ye old times, longer than uh, renaissance time, uh, samurai were the, uh, are the common uh, ancestors who uh, wielded the uh, katanas because of uh, heritage. Katanas come from Japanese, Japan areas. so. I'm going to refer to the samurai, to the guitarist reorder as a samurai from now on, just so you guys know. And uh, this uh, white furry bit is the hilt. Uh, well, this entire thing is the hilt, but uh, this thing is the uh, divider between the hilt and the blade, really. Obviously, sheath keeps the. Uh, blade from getting any weathering effects from being outside of the sheath out in the uh, open and just save it to travel with honestly so let me stand up get back up oh also this uh, blade came with this uh, little uh, web sword uh, holding station I'm just going to say Again, Japanese in scripture, which I'm not sure if I showed this during the uh, unboxing video, but I don't know what it is. If any of you guys know what it is, please say. Uh, just like I did with the Team Saint voice, I will uh, shout you out in the next video or the video that comes after you guys uh, help me out with that. Shut up! The, uh, Thing behind me noise so I've done this a few times already so I'm getting better at it I'm going to say just to tie it around your waist or you can tie it around your front if you want to do it like that but I uh, prefer to tie this guy around my waist. Let me kneel down so this goes better. So after I uh, tie this around my waist, I'm going to show you a few uh, things about this guy. Because this is how to reorder, I'm going to show you how to reorder this uh, blade. Which from what I've been learning from it, which I have been training with this guy for a bit. 
I really like this thing. Not as good as the uh, flaming sword that I have now, thanks to the uh, unboxing video, but I'll do a good blade. I would say tied for second with my rainbow sword. But yeah, let me uh, angle this up a bit more. Okay. So now it's tied around my waist. I can walk, I can run. I can do a lot of stuff without even holding it. It will still be right to you. Now I didn't tie it as good as I was wanting, but it will do for now. So, how this thing is uh, being, or how I like it to be uh, set is kind of like this. So, whenever I pop the blade up, the blade, the sharp bit is facing down or towards my opponent. And uh, when I grab it, with my down hand, I grab it right here. Uh, I'm going to call this the divider. So, just for reference, divider. Okay, so I grab the uh, hilt handle. This is the hilt. So, if I said it incorrectly before, hilt handle blade sheath. So, I grab it between the divider and, what did I just say? This was, fuck! Handle, blade, cheese, hilt, hilt. I'm a dumbass, I'm sorry. But yeah, between the hilt and divider, and I uh, bring it out, hold blade towards enemy, go bit towards me, so I don't cut myself. Now, you don't really need to see my face. All you need to do is hear my voice and look at what I'm showing you. So, if I'm left-handed, or if I want to fight dual-handed, my second hand goes between the bottom bit and the divider, and then I get ready for battle. Now, if I want to single-hand this, that's where this uh, divider really comes in handy because easy for me to just single hand it if I want to do that. Or I can single hand it like this. But the it's a weight uh, difference because this is a pretty heavy uh, sword. It's not that good. So if you are to single hand it, my, uh, my, Advice is to have the uh, your hand that you're going to be fighting with between the divider and the uh, hilt. So then you can stab, swing, all that uh, fun stuff for when you are fighting. Now, you can, let me put this back into the cheese. So you can grab it right grab it right here, and pull it out, and then the other hand, and the other spot. If you want to do it your handed, just put the other hand in the other spot. Now, what you can do is between the uh, divider and the bottom bit of the handle. I do not recommend it. I recommend one hand between divider and hilt, other hand between divider and bottom bit. That's just my opinion. You can fight however you want. But when I do my uh, skills video, that's how I'm going to wield this guy. Now, you can. Now, sometimes how I pop this up is pop it up with a thumb at first, then grab it, or you can just grab it normally. You can do whichever. And then when you put your sword back, you can either do it the way that I've been doing, just move it all the way in. You can also put in 
any percentage of the way as long as it's a good number in it and just drop it. Sometimes the uh, sword does get caught by the sheath and doesn't want to go in all the way. All you have to do is just bounce or just jiggle the sword. It should go in eventually. Now for when you are in combat and you want to uh, strike with just one slash, you want to most uh, samurai-ish or just sword v sword uh, show or movie does is uh, sometimes uh, sword out, they're just ready to fight. I think just one quick slash or what I've been practicing which I saw from this anime uh, I'm gonna botch it we would know tension really good anime I recommend that anime as well it's on Netflix good anime my opinion again take it as you will so what they do is uh, take a fine stance not a common one, like I've been doing from time to time, but one where they are, where legs are wide apart, uh, over shoulder length, so past their shoulders. Lean onto one, the uh, forward leg, and then just get ready to uh, pull sword out. Now sometimes they take a step to, uh, for a quicker, uh, weapon pull. Sometimes they just do it from a standstill. So, for this first one, I'm going to be taking a step forward just to show you. Now, I don't have any slow motion capturing, so it's just going to be one quick speed. So, watch. And also on YouTube, you can uh, slow this down to watch it slower if you want to, of course. Now, of course, you didn't get to see a good bit of that because of the camera and camera angle, but when I do my skills, you will see it better. Now, I'm just going to do a standstill. Sometimes it's easy to get the, sheet, the sword into the sheath. Sometimes it's not. But I believe I've went through everything. Yep, I even went through the uh, soil cleaning kit. And the soil cleaning kit is for the uh, katana, as I said, because the katana has two bamboo pegs, which is the only weapon I have with bamboo pegs. So is that a uh, reason? <clears throat> Let me angle this back down. So, that'll be it for today. Uh, if you enjoyed any of this, or if you learned anything new, please hit that like button. Uh, it gives me support. What also gives me support for doing these videos is if you hit that subscribe button. So if you are new to this video, to this YouTube channel, hit that like button, hit, blah, blah, blah. hit that, well, hit that like button if this is your first time watching the video, but also hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel, because that's the only reason why I do this, is for your support, is with your support, and uh, if you guys don't give enough support, I'll just stop and just enjoy swords in my own, in my uh, own time, huh? Really, so if you want me to share my sword lovingness or weapon lovingness, hit that subscribe button. Uh, comment down below about if you know what this means. And uh, anything else you want to comment down below and uh, share, share this around the world with people you know, people you don't know, people you may hate, people you may like, everyone. Just please share this around. 
I'm a small YouTube channel that's doing all of this by himself. That's it. Hope you enjoyed. Stay unique. Peace out.